do you believe that in the book of Acts, you know, what we see in Acts chapter 2, um, Acts chapter 2, 40, no, that's the wrong one. Acts chapter Even 1, the verse day of 8. Pentecost, right? In Acts chapter 2. No, sorry, that, that was the Pentecost. wrong one. I'm actually, I meant to go to Acts 1, 8, it's where okay. <laughs> um, yeah. Jesus speaking to the apostles, he says, you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria to the ends of the earth. So would you agree that the apostles, that Jesus commissioned them to go out and be a witness for him uh, of, of what the gospel was, that they're supposed to go and tell people what the gospel was yes. of how to be saved. Okay. Yep. Do you think that the book of Acts records the even uh, the evangelistic messages that the apostles were going out and telling people um, in order to allow people to be saved? Were the apostles in their sermons and in their preaching, were they preaching the gospel? Were they preaching the full, complete message of the gospel in the book of Acts? You know, there's several instances of them of them giving sermons and preaching to the lost, telling right. them how to be saved. Do you believe that right. they were giving a full and complete message of what the gospel is? Yes. Okay, so they never mentioned Passover one time. Not one time uh, did they mention so, Passover. So, you know... Not every single word that they preached was recorded in the Bible, obviously. I'm talking about like right. word for word every day. Yeah, I, fair enough. If I Passover agree with that. Is a way to say it, then why wouldn't that <laughs> yeah. be recorded? But you guys, from even not in the New Covenant, like from Old Covenant to New Covenant, you guys know that the blood is tied to the covenant. Like, you guys know this. It, we see all throughout the New Testament, it's Christ's blood, we're saved. That's the seal of God. It's, it's his blood. It's his blood. I'm not trying to get too <laughs> gory. No, you're right. But it's, his blood. it's his blood. Yeah. But how do you have Christ's blood? There's only one way when we look at the Bible. Jesus said, whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life. And then he even goes on to say, oh, is, is this symbolic does this mean to study his word does this mean to just say with your lips you believe in him no he said for my flesh is true food and my blood is true drink this is actual bread and wine and you guys got to think too why do all these babylons all these other churches keep a um a copycat passover they call it communion. They call it Eucharist, sacred. There's, they keep a copycat. There's churches that, that keep the Passover once a year, 14th day of the first month, and have kept it even before on Sung Hong, even before the Armstrong Church. There are churches that did that. Yeah, there's, okay. there's a lot can, of people that you, keep the Passover. Yeah, can you give me the evidence? Yeah, the Witnesses and the, um, oh, what are they called? Uh, Bible Study Movement. Both are from the 1800s. Oh, okay. Did they keep the Sabbath, too? Did they the, keep the Feast of Weeks? Did they keep the Feast of Tabernacles? But that's, my, just, my, that's, a, that's, wait, wait, that's assuming that that is required, which when you look at the book of Galatians, Apostle yeah. Paul says otherwise. So I'm talking just about the Passover. But, but Kelsey, okay. but, but I, I mean, I could, I could pull on Tim, who we've had on these videos, Tim Hoffman, who does. He literally sent me a text uh, like a week ago inviting me to Passover. So me and my wife yeah. are going to oh, go that's, with that's true. Passover that's with that. them. And he, he's that's keeping, right. he keeps the feasts. And so, yeah, I just think yeah. it's, it's a sort of a, an arrogant assumption on the part of the world mission society church of God to say that they alone are keeping these feasts. But, but before we get, I, I feel like this is deviating a lot from the question I just asked. Sure, I, sure, I, sure, I've sure, been sure. dying to ask this because I'm, <laughs> I'm, you said that yes to my question that yes, in the book of acts, the, you see the apostles preaching the full and complete message of the gospel. And then I say, but they never mentioned Passover. And your response to that was to say, well, they didn't record everything that they said, which, oh. which granted, I agree with you, oh. but I think it's, it's, it's a, it's, it's a, I, I would say a strange thing to argue that one of the details they decided wasn't important enough to include in that record was their mentioning of Passover as the ultimate way to be drinking and drinking and eating Christ's uh, flesh and blood, that that was one of the details that they decided, Hey, you know what, 
you know, this is kind of just extra. You know, you you cut out the extra stuff that isn't really central to telling the story. You don't cut out what you guys say is actually the core of the gospel. And so I just feel like that's not really, in my opinion, that that's not really a great response to that. And I would still feel like the question of why didn't they preach Passover? Why don't you see them mentioning it is a very valid question. Yeah, when I see some, I guess, you know, you see it your way, I see it a specific way. But from what I've come to understand through many studies and studying on my own, is that there's only one way to have Christ's blood. We see it all throughout the Old and New Testament. Let's look at Revelation even, Revelation 1, where it says... Okay, but before we move on... Before we move on from there, are we are are you ending that question about Passover by just saying we just see it differently? I just want to no, clarify that I, that's I think, the response I, to that question. I, I I I'm waiting for my tablet to load up. Um, okay. Kind of my verses, but I mean, after you see these verses, Jordan, I'm I'm pretty sure you would be like, okay, you you would look at this a little differently. Because are they verses? Are they verses from the Book of Acts? Or are there uh, just, verses from elsewhere? All, all throughout because the I'm very pretty laser focused on the book of Acts right now. I feel like that that book okay. alone deserves an explanation. Because this is this is again, this is the only record we have. The apostles I just read in, in Acts 2, where Jesus said he commissioned the disciples to go out and preach, be his witnesses. And then the book of Acts is literally the record of us seeing what that witness was. What were they communicating to people? What were they saying to people about what Jesus had taught them? So to me, the fact that they never mentioned Passover, it deserves an explanation. And it deserves an explanation, I think, that should be able to adequately deal with, you know, the book of Acts as a whole and not have to jump to, you know, vague passages throughout the rest of the Bible. Um, But go ahead. If you have verses that you feel like help clarify that. Um, you can go, go ahead. And, and also we accept the answer. I don't know. Like I, yeah. that, that's a respectful and, and honorable way to, I mean, that, if you just want to say, I don't know, that's fine. Um, it, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's just I, one I, of the I, biggest I, questions. That's one of the biggest questions in my mind. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's just pretty obvious to me, um, because there's prophecies that allude to the salvation work that's going to happen in the new covenant. Um, I understand that you're focused on Acts, and that's fine. Like, um, we really see how the disciples went out and preached. But, you know, in the Old Covenant, it points to prophecies on how we're si- the salvation work goes through a specific avenue. 